I've made a guide to doing an awfully big adventure using 10 pets, including the Alec plushie. The Alec plushie needs to be on the team for every one of the listed battles. My goal was to use as few battle pets as possible, but nine was really as far as uh, I was able to take it. The achievement rewards Trunks, who's a ghost elephant pet. I really want to do this video all together as opposed to splitting into parts, but it was originally two and a half hours long. I'm going to speed up some of the more trivial fights. I've included pet abilities per battle and timestamps in the description box. I'm going to be organizing this by expansion. So the first section is going to be in Classic WoW. The first battle is with a Lydia, Lydia Acoste in Deadwing Pass. Her pets aren't max level, so this is fairly easy using Coonline Runts, Frost Shock, and Deep Freeze combo. Next battle is in Winter Spring with Stone Cold Trixie. This goes about the same with the Nubiseth Idol cleaning up after Kunlein Runt gets knocked out. The next two fights are on Dark Moon Island. Kristoff von Fiesel is first. This fight was insanely tight. Obviously, if the opponent gets more crits and I get misses, it'll change the outcome. Anubisath is able to block a lot of Sid's ability, but I had to use Iron Starlet against the Beast pets. Beast and Humanoid pets were the most challenging opponents for my Anubisath and Kunlein Runt combo. Iron Starlet uses its wind up supercharge wind up combo. Switching Alec Plushie in to take some of the hard hits is super useful. Itchin for a stitch and will swap the Alec for your first pet. It's alright if it dies. The battle will still count for the achievement if it's a win. For Jeremy Fiesel, I went back to the Anubisath Kun Lai Runt team. Anubisath Idol's Sandstorm is able to negate a lot of the little attacks. The shield helps protect against the large charge ups. When Judgment casts extra crit on Anubisath, I trade in the Elec plushie. Otherwise, the Idol will die too quickly. Kunlein Runt does the typical Frost Shock and Deep Freeze. Casting Frost Shock right after Deep Freeze will hit the swapped in pet and increase speed so Kunlein Runt gets to attack again. This isn't going to work on flying pets who have high speed already or critters who won't be stunned by Deep Freeze. Burning Crusade is the next expansion. None of the pet battles in this expansion are max level, so I'll just speed through these fights. I'm starting in the south with Blood Knight Antari in Shadow Moon Valley. Moralu the Elder is next in Shatrath City. Narok in Nagrand. Rasan in Zangermarsh. Nikki Tiny Tech in Hellfire Peninsula.
Wrath of the Lich King is going to be the next expansion. I'm starting north in Ice Crown with major pain. This fight is annoying because Grizzle and Bloom both heal. Grizzle heals for an, an insane amount in a short amount of time. It makes it a long fight, but it's still doable. Nearly headless Nick, oh, nearly headless Nick, <laughs> nearly headless Jacob in Crystal Song Forest is next. Undead hit humanoid pets with bonus damage, so I'm at a disadvantage for this fight. Spooky Strangler will also switch the upfront pet with a bench pet, so I have my team in the order of Anubisath Idol, Elec Plushie, and Kunline Runt. That way I can attempt to control who gets swapped in with his ability as well as Alec Plushie's itching for a stitchin'. Okrut's Dragon Waste in Dragon Blight. He uses all dragon and undead dragon pets. I save Anubisath's shield for when they use takeoff. Using Demolish with Sandstorm is such a mistake. Sandstorm reduces accuracy by 10% and Demolish was already at a 50% hit chance. 40% chance to hit is, is so not fun. Crush would have been a better choice for this. West Howling Fjord has Beagle Blastfuse using his chicken and turkey team. This is pretty straightforward. Anubisath's Sandstorm and Deflection pretty much take care of most of the damage mitigation.
Number 14 is Gutwretch in Zoldrak. He uses all beast pets, but once again, Anubisath, Sandstorm, and Deflection win the matches. The first battle master I chose to do of Cataclysm is Borden Steadyfist in Deep Helm. His second pet, Crystalis, is a critter, so I'm unable to freeze him into retreating. He's weak to Kuhnline Runt's Thrash ability, which finishes him off fairly quickly. Brock is next in Mount Hygel. His first pet, Cali, does an ability that partially blinds my pet. It is very annoying and makes the fight take a long time. Anubisath already has problems with accuracy, so this just causes him to miss more frequently. So frustrating. A better strategy than what I did would be to try to deflect that ability, but I was trying to avoid counting turns or using an add-on. Gauze Bane Fury in Twilight Highlands was too difficult for my two humanoid team, so I had to switch Anubisath for Specimen 97. I used Dust Cloud and Burrow with Specimen 97 to avoid most of Helios' attacks. The last battle master for Cataclysm is Obelus in Oldham. I struggled with his match as can be seen in the video. They all hit pretty decently and Spring is especially annoying. I really had to play around with the order of my pet lineup to avoid certain attacks without wasting turns. I'm not sure if anyone would want to follow this particular battle strat but I made it more difficult trying to do it with this team and limit the number of extra pets I had to bring in. That is going to wrap up this part of the video series for An Awfully Big Adventure. The next video will be Mist of Pandaria, probably without Celestia Tournament in it as Mop is fairly extensive. 
Hope this video was helpful. Good luck and have fun.